Hello and welcome to another fun, fast, and fabulous Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create watercolor textures in Photoshop without the mess. So I'm going to show you two different techniques. The first one will start right now. We're going to first add a blank layer to your document. I'm just working in a blank document on a blank layer. And then I'm going to come over here to my brushes. Now I've installed Kyle Webster's brushes. They're free for creative cloud subscribers. I have another video about how to do that, but the short of it is that you click the gear button right here from the brush panel and you choose get more brushes. And then that takes you to a website where you can download them and install them. So I've got all of his packs here and I'm going to be using the watercolor one today. And for our first piece we're going to make, I'm going to scroll down to this real watercolor diluted 90. So I'll double click to select that. And I'm going to choose a nice turquoise bright blue color, maybe like this. And then I'm just going to paint. So I'm just going to click and drag around and might do a few layers here to darken that up. There we go. really get that nice texture. That looks great. Now I can add um, some text on top of this maybe. Maybe you want to put a monogram here or a logo. I'm just going to bring in some text. Bravo, you just made a watercolor texture. And then to really finish it off, we're going to add some texture to our canvas even using an adjustment layer. So I'm going to click to add the adjustment layer and I'm going to choose pattern. And we'll click this drop down and to find this particular collection of patterns, you're going to click this gear and choose artist surfaces. Click OK and then you should see this. And this one right here is if we hover, we'll see in a minute, watercolor. So you can find it, click it and we'll click OK. And then you can see it's covering everything up. So I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply and then just drop the opacity down a little bit. So it's a really subtle thing, but it adds a nice texture to the background. So that looks pretty fabulous. Let's group these two layers together. So I click and control click to select them both and press command or control G to group them. So now I can hide that. And we'll make another blank layer for our next example. So we're gonna change brushes. This time we're gonna create a color wash gradient and we're going to use the big rough wash. So I'm gonna select that. And I'll click over here to choose some new colors. So anytime that you layer watercolors together, you always wanna start with the lighter of the two colors. So I'm gonna keep this lighter blue here and we're gonna blend that gradient into a purple in a minute, but we'll start with the blue first. So I'm just gonna click and drag to lay down some nice blue tones here. And then we'll switch back to our colors and this time I'm gonna grab a purple, maybe this one. And I'll go lightly here where they blend first, to create a nice soft blend and then I'm pressing harder as I move up. So I can really drag those colors into each other and get a nice gradient. And again, we can add some text, some stuff I've already prepared here. And that is the beauty of watercolor without the mess. I hope you enjoyed.